Oh Lord, it's in my way down. It's in my veins. It's in my heart. Wow, wow, the blood is running. Oh Lord, it's in my way down. It's in my veins. Why the blood is still running warm in my veins. Church, when, when the blood stop running warm in your vein, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. That, 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 that let me know your eyes have been closed. I mean, your tongue has been glued to the root of your mouth. That's when that, that hurts come rolling you down the aisle. Church, we don't want to wait till you get to that point. We want to thank the Lord. We want to shout. We don't want to praise him. While the blood is still running warm in our veins. Lord, we just want to thank seeing Brother Junior back with us today. Lord, we just want to thank you to see all our visitors that came far and near to be with us. We want to thank Green Miller for being here today. I know we are a little few in numbers, but hey, we're two or three. We still must carry on. Are you, are you glad to be here today? Have God been good to you? Have Satan been good to you? Have Satan been on your track? Church, I want you to tell Satan, today is not your day. Today belongs to God. And tomorrow is not looking good either. So just tell Satan to get thee behind you. Church, Job 14 and 1 say, a man born of a woman is of a few days. Church, a few days of trouble. I, I went on and searched the scripture. He said, yet a man is born of trouble. As surely as the spark fly upward. Church, so I'm here today to say, stay focused. Stay focused. Because God is real. I, I, I won't be long today, church. But I just want to let you know, stay focused. Today, church, I want to I wanna focus on a, a, a woman. With an issue of blood. For 12 long years. I, I spoke on this lesson a few weeks ago over at the nursing home. And, and, and one of the patients came to me and said, Brother, you, you should have spoke a little longer. He said, that's a good topic. And church, I went home and I meditated on, on, on that, that parable. And, and I wanted to, to know a little bit more about this woman. See, they didn't give a name for this woman. They just say this woman with a issue of blood for 12 long years. Church, I, I, I start contemplating. I said, well, if she was, had an issue of blood for 12 long years, I, I, I don't think she was well. So I, I, I start saying, I, I think this woman was sick. For her to be ill for 12 long years. So I start calling this woman a, a sick woman. Church, I, I, today I, I can hear that woman saying, I can hear her saying, church, today, any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Church, I'm here today to also say, any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Church, if you bless my home, I'll be satisfied. If you bless my job, I'll be satisfied. If you bless my marriage, I'll be satisfied. Church, if you bless my family, I'll be satisfied. Church, if you bless this church, I'll still be satisfied. Church, because God is good. Church, I'm saying today, try Jesus. He's all right. Just try Jesus. Church, I believe today there's someone here that is sick. Been back and forth to the doctor for a long time. And seem not to be able to get well. Church, I'm saying if you're one of those persons I'm talking about, I say try Jesus. He's all right. Church, I I'm asking you today. If you're going through some illness, all I want you to do, church, reach out and touch it. 
Just reach out and touch him. Just he all in this ear. He all around you today, church. You don't have to wait to touch his him. You can just reach out, church, and touch him. If you want to be healed, church. Church, but I went on and I studied this list. And church, I, I, I still understand that the battle is not ours. It belongs to the Lord. So I'm saying give it over to God and let God have his way. So can we pray for a minute? Amen. Father, as I stand, Lord, I ask you to speak to me that someone would understand better by and by. Church, not, 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 not for 12 years, not three years, not six years, not nine years, but 12 years. This woman had an issue of blood. Church, she was sick. Church, I let you know today, God will never leave you nor forsake you. Church, this woman with an issue of blood, they say she spent all her money. She went back and forth to the doctor. Church, her body began to start getting weak. Church, I assume her spirit may have dropped. Church, she, she, she was being mistreated. Church, but one day, one day, church, she, she went into a crowd. And, and she was able, church, to touch the man by the name of Jesus. The lady of the valley, church. That bright and morning star. His name is Jesus, church. I, I, I come to say, reach out and touch him. Amen? Amen? If you have your Bible, church, I ask you to meet me. Meet me in Luke chapter 8, verse 43. And church, I'll be reading from the New King James, the New International Man. And, and, and church... We, we will begin, our 43 will begin to tell us what this sick woman did in order to reach Jesus or touch his garment. One Bible says he's him. Can you hear me, Annie? And the woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. But no one could heal her. She came up behind him and touched the edge of his garment. Church, one Bible says it's him. And immediately her bleeding stopped. Jesus asked, who touched me? Church, if I could stop there for a moment and contemplate on a subject. If I can read or have a subject for the day, church. My subject would be, Brother Ellis, reach out, touch him. He will make you a better person. Church, do you, do you believe that? If you reach out and touch him, he will make you a better person. Church, I, I, I went on and, 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 and contemplate. Church, today, I want you to understand the thought. He said, your faith have healed you. Church, you have to have faith in order to be healed. Church, it went on and said, she had believed. She had faith. And she trusted. Do you have faith? Do you believe? Do you trust in the Lord? That once you reach out and touch him, he may heal your aching body. Church, as I ponder back and forth with this lesson, this sick woman for 12 years, I, I realize, church, all sickness is not unto death. But church, for 12 years, 12 years, that number 12, church, it laid heavy on my heart. I said that number 12, have a lot of history 
that number 12 has a lot of meaning, church. So, so I went and scrambled and I Googled. They say they're, they're 12 months in a year. Sure, they say they're 12 means faithful. They're, they're 12 gates in the city. There were 12 disciples. There were 12 sons of Jacob. There were 12 trials of Israel. The number 12 appeared in the Bible 187 times. Paul and Silas preached until 12 midnight. Well, sure, they say the Virgin Mary stayed in the temple for 12 years. They say baby Jesus was 12 years old when the parents went back looking for him. And they found him in the temple church sitting with the elder teacher. He was 12 years old, church. church and, and, and went on, church. Is this something, church, about that number 12? They say you have to stay in school for 12 years to become a senior. Church, they say 12 a.m. represent midnight. They say 12 p.m. represent noonday. They say there are 12 in a dozen. And there was a woman sick for 12 long years. Church, this woman, she had an issue of blood. For 12 years. Regardless of your illness. Proverbs 3 and 5 and 6 say. Trust in the Lord. With all thy heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Sir. What he was saying. In all your ways. Acknowledge him. And he will. Direct your path. Just I believe that blind. I believe that sick woman. Understood Proverbs. Church, I, 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 I think he direct her past. Church, this woman, she was sick. She realized she could, 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 could get close enough to Jesus that she would be healed. Church, she didn't want to get close enough to shake Jesus' hand. She didn't want to get close enough to Jesus to offer her him any money. All she wanted to do is just reach out and touch the hem of his garment. And she realized she would be made whole. So that's what I say, keeping that faith. She kept the faith through all her trials and tribulation. She didn't let nothing stop her. She, she believed and she trusted in God, church. So she, she may have heard about how Jesus healed a man. It was left a see. I don't know. She may have heard, Brother Ella, how Jesus healed a man with an evil spirit. I don't know. Brother Larry, he may have heard. She may have heard how Jesus fed 5,000 with two fish and five loaves of bread. I, I, I don't know. Church, this sick woman, she may have heard how Jesus healed a blind man. Church, they say, they say, they came to Jesus. Some people brought a blind man and begged for Jesus to heal him. Church, they, they, they wanted Jesus to lay hands on this blind man. They knew that Jesus was a healer, church. Church, Jesus took the blind man. They say by his hand. They said Jesus led him out of the village. See, they went out of the city church, and Jesus went there, and Jesus spit on the blind man. Church, and he, and he rubbed his hand on the blind man's eye. Remind, I want to remind you, church, Jesus didn't spit in the blind man's face. He spit on his hand, church, and Jesus rubbed his hand on the blind man's eye. And Jesus asked the blind man, can you see well, sure, the blind man say, I see people. They look like trees walking around. Sure, that let me know that that blind man was able to see again. Sure, but it went on, sure. She went on, the blind man looked up and said, and said to Jesus, oh, I see some trees. Oh, they look like they're moving around. Church, and God, when God touched you, you can be healed. Church, when, when Jesus lay hands on you, they said things begin to happen. They said things begin to move around in you. If you only trust and believe in God. Church, once more, Jesus put his hand on the blind man's eye. 
and then his eye was open, sure. That let me know, church, he received his sight. Yes. Church, when Jesus touched you, you can see again. Yes. See, Jesus, church, Jesus is a healer. Jesus is the son of God, church. Church, Jesus can do all things. This sick woman, yes. she had enough faith that Jesus could heal her sickness. After 12 long years. See, she heard that Jesus was near. So see, see, uh, see, Jesus was returning. Jesus was returning. Jesus had just come a raven seat. And then Jesus went down church. And he was dealing with a man with demons. And church, when he got through, you know the story. And when Jesus got through dealing with the man with, with, with the demon, they said the people ran back in town and they came. And when they find the blind, when they find the man with demon, they say he was sitting by Jesus, closing his right mind. Church, that let me know that Jesus is a healer. But church, in verse number 40, in chapter number 8, starting around verse 40, it said, now when Jesus returned, a crowd welcomed Jesus. For they were all expecting Jesus. Church, they knew Jesus was coming. Church, see, that, that, that gave, gave that, that sick woman an opportunity to, to, to be close to reach Jesus. She knew Jesus was on his way. So, church, she got ready. She got up, church, and she got up, came to see Jesus. Then a man by the name of Jared, a ruler of the synagogue, he came and fell at Jesus' feet. And he was pleading to Jesus. He said, Jesus, come to my house. Church, when Jesus heard Jared pleading, church, Jesus was on his way to Jared's house. But church, as he was going, the crowd was so big. Church, they say Jesus came to the house. And, 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 and when, he, when he was in the crowd, he was being pressed against the crowd. And church, that's when they say, they, they, this lady, church, this lady came up behind Jesus, and she touched him, church. Church, I want to pause that for a minute. She, she, she knew Jesus was coming. She knew if I can get close enough, if I can just reach out and touch him, oh, Lord, I could be made whole. Church, can you just imagine this sick woman for 12 long years crawling Maybe, maybe shaking, the crowd bumping all, all over her, pressing against her. But she didn't stop, church. She, she made her way. She made her way, church. As Jesus was on his way, church, he said, the, the, the crowd almost crushed Jesus. He said, and a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. But no one could heal her. She came up behind Jesus and touched the edge of his garment. Church, I think that was his hymn, church. That was his hymn she touched. And immediately, church, the bleeding stopped. And Jesus asked the question. Jesus, that, that was a question, church. That was a test that Jesus was putting him through, church. Because Jesus knew who touched him. But Jesus asked the question. And when Jesus said, who touched me? When they all deny it. Church, then Peter, the master, Peter said, master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. Church, Peter always felt that he had to be the one that speaks. I call Peter the big mouth. Peter felt like he had to be the one to say everything. Remember, now Peter was the one that denied Jesus. Now, Peter was the one that cut a man in all. Church, I just say, you know Peter. Peter, Peter going to say what's on his mind. But Jesus said, someone touched me. Someone touched me. I, I know that. I, I know because the power had gone out for me. Somebody touched me. See, church, Jesus knows and sees everything. I heard Brother Joe was in his lesson was talking about Jesus is all seen eye. He knows everything. He sees everything. But church, you got to understand, 
Jesus came to that town to prove a point. Point number one, a point, the first point. He saved a woman that believed in him, that was sick for 12 long years. Second, he showed the crowd how he can work in his power. Third, Jesus fulfilled the great commission. Church, Jesus was about his father's business. Church, this sick woman, for 12 years, believed. The definition for believe is to, to believe is to accept the truth by what someone said is real. This woman realized, church, that whatever Jesus say is real. This woman with the issue of blood, she believed that if she could, could, could get close enough to Jesus and reach out and touch him, that she could be made whole. Sure, she knew she, she would never be the same. Sure, see, the doctor, they don't have the medicine that Jesus have. That medicine Jesus have, church. All you have to do is touch it, and you can be made whole, or you can be made healed. But what the doctors have, you have to take it or drink it. But in this case, you don't have to drink it. You don't have to take it. All you have to do is touch it, and you can be made whole. Church, that let me know we serve a mighty God. See, he's Mary, baby. He's that little of the daddy, that bright and morning star. Church, the one that was raised from the dead with all power in his hand. See, he had the power to touch the man, and his eye came open. Church, he had enough power to heal a woman who was sick for 12 long years. Church, he was able to heal a man filled with demons. Church, he was able to calm a raven sea. Tell me, that's not God. Church, Jesus, Jesus can heal the sick. He can give sight to the blind. Then the woman seen that she couldn't hide or, or go unnoticed. Church, she, 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 she was afraid. She made nervous, church. She, she, she came trimming, and she fell at Jesus' feet. Church, in the presence of all the people. See how God worked, church? He did it in the presence of all the people. Church, she, she reached out, and she touched Jesus. Now, church, she, she was hiding. Now she's stepping out to tell Jesus her trouble. She told Jesus why she touched him and how she had been healed, church. Church, faith will heal you because of her faith, church. See, the definition of faith, church, is faith is a strong belief, a strong religious faith. This sick woman, church, she, 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 was, she was sick for a while. We, the Bible didn't say her name, church. We don't know her, her name, but we do know her situation, church. She had a bleeding issue that, that would be called debilitate. Church, debilitate. That means, church, it make you weak. Your, your body, your, you lose your strength. You, you begin to have to take medication, church, for treatment. Church, this sick woman world was, was like a midnight. Church, it was dark. Church, there was no hope. She, she was dying, and she needed Jesus, church. She kept the faith. She believed, church, and she trusted. Church, yes. Yes, she was. She, 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 she was nervous. Yes, she was trembling as she fell at Jesus' feet. Church, if I can use my sanctified imagination. Church, a a a as she was talking to Jesus, I, I, I can hear her saying, Brother Ward, trouble in my way. I have to cry sometime. I, I lay awake at night, tossing, turning. Church, she, she may have said, Sister Ruth, 
She may have said, without you, Lord, I can't make it. I tried. I went to the doctor. I spent my money, but I can't make it. I realize I need Jesus. Church, without the Lord, I can't make it. Church, she went back and forth to the doctor. Spent all her money. But she said, Jesus, Jesus, can you help me? Can you help me? Church, she, she said, I've been lied on. I was mistreated. I was called unclean. Church, I have been living, uh, I, had, I, I haven't been living a, 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 a normal life. Church, she, she was saying, I was ashamed to go out. I was ashamed to come around people. Church, she said, my bleeding is uncontrollable. Lord, can you help me? Church, she was pleading to Jesus. And Jesus heard her cry. Jesus said to this woman, he said, daughter, daughter, your faith has healed you. Church, she, this sick woman, she stepped out on faith. And, and the sick woman, church, she, she, she didn't let the crowd stop her. She didn't let the people stop her. Church, she, she, all she wanted to do, she wanted to reach out and touch him. And when she touched him, church, they say her bleeding stopped. Church, it went on in verse 48, it said, Jesus was letting the people know. She was letting them know, yes, I call her daughter. I heal her. Yes, she is my daughter. She is my child. Now go in peace. Church, that's what he want us to do. He want us to reach out and touch him. You are his daughter. We are his son. Will you reach out? Will you reach out and touch him? Church, she reach out. Sure, Jesus want to do the same for you and me. This sick woman, Brother Ella, she trusted. She fell at Jesus' feet that Jesus could make her whole again. Do you want to be whole again today, church? John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Church, I believe that sick woman got eternal life. Church, she step out. She reach out. She had the faith. She believed. Church, where are your faith today? When, when you know that you know, God will make a way. Church, she says trust is to believe. That something is honest, truth, correct, and will make a way. Jesus made a way. Jesus made a way. See, this ill woman, church, or this sick woman, had, she, 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 she had a virus. And that virus affect her immune system. It caused her blood pressure to drop. It, it, it caused her platelet to go low. Church, it had, she had no strength. Church, she become weak. Her body ached and hurt, church. But she didn't give up. Church, this woman was hurting. She was aching, church, for 144 months, which equal out to be 12 years. But she didn't give up, church. She, she trusted in King Jesus. Church, King Jesus have more medicine in him, his garment, than more any doctor or any pharmacy put together. Church, Jesus, he's the healer. Church, now, now, it didn't cost her a penny, and now she's living free. Church, as I close, as I close, nobody can do you like Jesus. Nobody. There's a song I heard. It said, reach out and touch someone's hand. Make this world a better place. Today I'm saying, reach out and touch Jesus' hand. Make this world a better place if you can. 
That's the lesson. Reach out and touch him. He will make you a better person. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Church, as you read on this lesson, you will see after Jesus healed this sick woman, he went on to Jerry's house. Now, Jerry's daughter, church, they say he died. The people were mumming, oh, she dead. Jesus went, church, and he got the young lady. He took Peter, Joan, and Jane, and he went up and, and her parents. And he went up and he touched her. And her eyes came open. They said, give us something to eat. Sir, Jesus, he's in the healing business. Does anybody want to be healed today? I beg you to try Jesus. He's all right. So I extend the invitation to someone that don't believe that Jesus is all right. All you have to do is church. Hear the word. And once you heard the word, then you must believe. And after you believe, they say, church, you have to repent. And once you repent, church, you make that confession that Jesus is the Son of God. And then, church, we'll take you down in this water. We can wash you clean. We don't sprinkle. We take you down. We merge you. We want to wash you clean. We want you to come up a new creature in Christ. I'm not saying you won't be sick anymore, but if you trust, believe, and keep the faith, and live accordingly, Jesus will do the rest. If you, if you have scrayed away and want to come back home today, or if you just need prayer, church, we'll pray for you. As together we stand and sing the imitation song. Without you, Lord, I can make it. Without you, Lord, without you, Lord, without you, Lord. Without you, Lord, do you believe that? When there was a time in my life, I would live in his sin without Christ. I wonder what I did wrong. To make my race so hard to run without you, Lord, without you, Lord, without you, Lord, I can't make it without you, Lord. If anybody can make it without the Lord. Can I see a hand? No. We can't. You got to have Jesus. Have Jesus. Have 